Hey guys, so today I got a package yesterday, so today I'm gonna be opening it up and we're gonna see what it is. So this came out of the package, an IS lip, which came on the Sport 318 IS and stuff. So let's see how it looks. So the stock lip is about three centimeters and the IS lip is around seven. So uh, to take the stock one off it's Probably just some clips, just like this, and then pull it. So now that it is off, time to put the IS lip on. So, now it's installed, now we can put the car down and see what it looks like.
there we go a little sportier look pretty good now I'm going to install a 545i short shifter and I also have some pushing kits from Condor Speed Shop so, so I'm gonna show you how the movement of the shifter is before first second third fourth First things first is to remove the shifter knob. Don't get it in your face. It's quite tight on there. Oh, and then we need to take out the shifter boot. and also the rubber seal here I have a connector here so I'm gonna take that apart and push it through the rubber so it won't get damaged just to make it easier for the cable to go out There we go. So the seal is out. So now we have to go under the car and loosen up the split for this to be loosened on the bottom side. There we have it on the bottom, and there's a split splitter there, which you can just remove with a screwdriver. I have the rear bushing new, but it, I don't have it with me, so I'm not gonna change that now, but it's pretty easy. Well, you have to, yeah. So, and also there's a splitter there. I'm gonna take out so let's do that so now the lower selector rod is out and here the, is the worm bushing and the splitters now I can go back inside the car and start taking the shifter rod out so now this is loose, we need to get the, there's a tap on each side that goes into the aluminum housing of this, so there's one out and the other one is here. You can break this, but I have a new one, so it's always better to have a new one on standby, like this. Now it's broken and not usable. But now this comes up. Well, my camera is being ridiculous, so I lost the last clip. Uh, where I compared the two shifters 
here's the bad one out. And the other one is in. I just put the white bushing onto the ball of the shifter and then pushed it in and made sure the clips were, went into the side holes on each side. It sucks to lose footage, but this is what it is. And now I'm gonna clean this up a little bit and reinstall it. So I'm starting by putting a yellow bushing here. After I install it, I put, put the other bushing on the other end and then the new split here. And here I just push it into the new shifter rod and then another splitter goes here. So now the shifter rod is in. As well as there with the splitter. Looking good and very good. So back inside the car, shifter is centered, so now we can put the rubber grommet back in and everything back together. So now that it's installed, we can do another shift first. Second, third, fourth, fifth, and we're much shorter, much better. Cool.